Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, I hope that you're well. Today I'm going to be doing a plan with me in August, but I haven't seen you guys since like this month in June was the last time we saw, which is the week of June 10th, that's the last time I actually filmed anything for you guys. So I thought I'd just quickly flip through and explain where I've been. Um, so we have this one, which you actually saw me plan. Uh, then we did a green one. Uh, this week I started to get a bit of a cold coming on and I really wasn't feeling very well, so I didn't film this one, which I do feel bad for. This is actually a... Uh, just a green themed week where I was trying to like use a load of my stickers up that I'd already got just trying to get some of them gone by this week I was very very ill uh, it started about Wednesday or Thursday that's when it really kicked in and I was ill for like the whole weekend but I still went to work um, the 26th is actually the day that a bounty huntress Beth Chapman died and uh, that day just absolutely broke me like I've watched Dog the Bounty Hunter since it started airing maybe about a year after it started airing actually um, and I still watch it even now to this day I have all the seasons on my Amazon account I sit and watch them like in the background and I follow the family and uh, when she died I actually burst into tears at work when I found out because she was someone that I idolised for so long so that didn't probably help the cold that made my throat even worse because I was crying um let me go through July and this again was a bit of a mix and match week I was trying to use up a load of stickers from previous kits I managed to get rid of like three or four sticker sheets um I still wasn't feeling very well so I didn't really have a voice so I couldn't really film for nearly a month my voice was just a bit croaky and I sound a little bit um croaky now but I'll explain that a little bit later um, I could probably explain it now actually, um, oh yeah, by straps all there is. Um, I went to something this morning, I can't really talk about it at the exact moment because I'm not really sure if it's going to lead to anything, but I had such a huge panic attack last night, it was about half ten, nearly eleven o'clock, and I just completely broke down. Um, I had a huge panic attack, I managed to bring myself back and like calmed myself down, but um, my throat's a little bit sore from it and I've been talking for like an hour, um, so... Uh, this is a week that I was actually off work. I started feeling better around about Tuesday and Friday. By Friday I was completely fine. So this is a week I did with my sister, Art in the Craft. Um, this is her kit. And I literally just stuck them down so it was red, blue, red, blue. Didn't have any particular layout to it and I just sort of filled it in the night before as to what I was doing. Um, as you can see there was a lot of uh, Sims gaming going on. And then this week it was my dad's birthday on the Thursday, which we had 37 degrees Celsius heat, which for us here in the UK is like freaking hot. Um, so this week I did like a little barbecue theme because I'd already had it planned out for this week anyway. And it worked out quite well because we actually had a barbecue on the Friday. And just as we started the barbecue, it started like pouring hard. Um, so we actually had a barbecue in the rain, which is very British. Um, also started um, a new program called Another Life, which I binged over the whole weekend. It is amazing if you haven't seen it. Then we move into August. And I'm just remembering I've got something on the next page which I can't show you guys. So I'm going to have to just quickly cover that up with a little sticky note. Down here, I don't mean, I'm going to have to hold this up so you can actually see it. But um, this little section here, uh, it's a little bit bumpy. I had, and this is when it was like really, really hot weather. I was stupidly eating Jaffa cakes of all things, very chocolatey, um, and I dropped one on the page, like right here. And in my panic, instead of just like leaving it to dry and then like wiping off the next morning, I took a wet wipe to it, wiped it all off, smeared it even further, and then I blow dried the page. The page is now like sort of crinkly, it's not really flat anymore, and I just stuck a go go sticker over it. It's absolutely awful, but this is the month we're currently in. So this is this. This is the little thing. It's actually today that I'm filming this. I've had to cover that up because y'all can't see what that is yet. Um, because that I'm not sure what's happening with that, so I'm just gonna ignore that. And I've got some birthdays, sort of done my little tracker as usual. And we got the first week of July and well first week of August, last week of July, sorry, and I did another eye in the craft kit. I sort of did each day was a different colour, so I tried out something, that is an idea I actually got with, um, uh, from Plan with Lake, and she does like a different colour each day with a kit, and I thought it was really cool, so I tried that. Um, and then this page, again, I've had to cover up some stuff with sticky notes, my apologies. Um, oh, I need to write zero in there, because I didn't fill that out. Um, again, a bit of The Sims, this was a kit um, called 
the, I think it's BU kit from uh, Dorky Planner Girls, which are these ones. I use some Polaroid zip pictures here and some, like other little bits and pieces just to sort of fill out the kit. Uh, NFL preseason started, so my lovely team, the Dolphins, we actually won against the Falcons, 34 to 27, which was so good. Um, it was an alright game. I didn't really watch the entire thing. I just watched like the 40 minute highlights because it was at uh, one in the morning, and I just watched it before work. And Glow season three started, but I didn't actually start watching it. Um, until right before I went to work. So I watched the first episode, then I managed to do see, um, episodes 2 to 4, 2 to 4? Um, 2 to 9, sorry, on the Saturday, then I finished it off Sunday morning, so it only took me three days to watch it, which isn't bad. And then we move on to this week, which again, more sticky notes, because y'all can't see what I'm up to. Um, so yeah, we're on Tuesday. This is a, another Shop My Stash week. So I've got some headers that were from my kit. These little food icons, which from another kit. So I put pizza up here, that's what I had for dinner. Got some full boxes, half boxes, some little icons. This, um, these are actually some new stickers I got from the Coffee Monsters and Co. I think that's the name, uh, from Canada. And some Poundland Washi. Just got some like a little random set. And then we get to the week that I actually need to plan, which is next week, which is the 19th to the 25th. Um, I didn't really want to use a kit, but then I was flicking through all my kits and I found this one from uh, Fantasy Designs, which is the Main Street USA one. I actually used some of this when I was in Florida on my holiday, um, mainly the full boxes. So I did that and then I printed out uh, these little Polaroid zip pictures just to use as full boxes. Sorry, you can't really see some of them. My light is right above me. So I'm going to try and use this on this weekly kit. I'm not really going to fill it out a huge amount. I just sort of do date covers, full boxes, my work stickers and um, oh, moving around. And I actually organised all my stickers into this little book. So they're all in here now. So instead of me having to get the whole lot out and flip through, I can sort of just flip to certain pages. I haven't got them in a specific order or such, but I've got like work at the front, paydays, days off. Um, money, expenditures, um, fitness, food, bins out, cleaning, like it's a sort, it's some sort of order but not like cohesive or anything but so I'll be using some of that and also when I'm doing my weeklies from now on as well as doing this August for the weekly spread for Erin Condren I'm also going to be setting up my checklist week which is something similar to what I've got going on here and I mean I started off like real colourful and like putting so much effort in and now it's just black pen with a bit of colour on the top um, so I'm going to be setting up this ready for next week so I haven't finished filling out yesterday or started today so I've got to set that up and I believe this company is pronounced Malpaper I'm not entirely sure how I pronounce it but I think it's Malpaper this is their daily goal setter and you have in here a weekly spread which I'll be updating as and when um, you get weekly spreads and then you've also got, if I can get to the next ribbon, um, daily spreads. So this is all stuff I'm going to be setting up. So when I have finished doing my Erin Condren, I'll just be setting up this page ready for the following week. And I'll be setting up these ones at a different time because there's so many different pages I've got to flick through and I might not be using it every single day, whereas at the minute I am. Um, but yeah, so I'll just set up this one as well. So the three things I need to set up today. But first and foremost, we're going to get this one hit done. So I'm going to start off with putting my work stickers in, which are going to be this blue and this like pink colour that my uh, sister done, like a customised kit for me for work stickers. I'm then going to get my sidebar done, put some washi in, and then I will be right back with you.
Okay, so here we have the basic layout. So all I've now got to do um, is put in the bottom washi because I didn't need to have something down here because I don't really use this face at the current moment due to this design, although in the uh, new design I might actually, actually have to use it. Um, so I've got rid of all of them full boxes. I've still got some date headers I need to put in and I've still got this lot here. So I'm going to do the washi and the date headers. Oh, right, we're going to start on this side for a change. I'm not really sure what washi to use. And, I mean, this is how I've actually organised mine. I've got these, like, little baskets that I put all of mine in. And the rest of mine, oh, drop that on the floor, um, is in another basket along with some pens and the binder clips and just other little bits and pieces because I haven't really got a clue what to use. So what one shall I use for this? That is the big question. I like this pink dotty one, that could be a good contender. And I've got this pink one there, so we'll use you two. So we've got these two, got a nice spotty one, which sort of reminds me of Minnie Mouse, and just a like watercolour marble one, so we'll put them on the bottom. Probably do it that way, so the darker ones at the bottom. Um, yeah, and then I'll do the date covers. So, yeah, today has been an interesting day. Um, I did something that was very much out of my comfort zone, so that has been um, a bit of a test for me. Um, if things go well I should be able to tell you soon, and I hope I can, because at the minute I don't really want to say anything because I don't know exactly who watches these videos and I don't want the wrong people to hear something before the important people find out. So. Sounds very mysterious, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, hopefully stepping out of the comfort zone has helped a little bit. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. But oh, I was so nervous last night. I haven't had a panic attack like that for so long. I am um, just sat here watching some um, Brad Mondo videos, of all things. Um, and all of a sudden, like, I started feeling like really hot and sweaty. And I'm thinking, oh, God, what's, what's wrong? And I was like, oh wait, I sort of recognise this feeling. And I th thought, it, you sort of get like nausea. Um, I, so I thought I was going to be sick, I wasn't. Um, but I stood up and all of a sudden, like, I just felt like the every like bit of blood in my body went ice cold and I got a bit dizzy all of a sudden. Um, probably should, if I'd have gone to bed, I probably would have been sat up worrying about it. But because I was like, I can't sleep, I'm nervous. Um, but yeah, I had a bit of a panic attack, but I managed to calm myself down. I'm normally quite good at getting myself to calm down. Um, I knew it was an irrational thing, what I'm panicking about. It's just, I'm very introverted and I'm a very anxious person in general. So I understand why I was having a panic attack. I just had to kind of like say to myself, like, you're being stupid. It's nothing. Calm down. People do this all the time. Um, I wish I could tell you what it is, but until I know in like a couple of weeks, I don't want to say anything yet. I don't really want to jinx it. Um, but yeah, we shall, we shall see. Right, there's my bottom washi done. Um, this kit doesn't actually come with any date covers, so I'm just going to use this uh, marker pen from Erin Condren. Uh, this is Fuchsia, I believe, going by the uh, back of this set. This is the uh, pack of 10 I showed in my haul quite a while ago now. Um, so let me pop the dates on here before I forget. Not my best penmanship, but that will have to do. Um, these are going to be quite obvious through, so I'm going to have to use this very brand new Tipex um, Pocket Mouse Mini. It's like this the uh, white out. It's actually brand new. I've been using uh, this one, which came in a pack of three from Poundland, and it's all right. But as soon as this bit of tape runs over the side, it just destroys the whole thing. Um, I've managed about about half of it, but I mean this section here is meant to be a lot thinner than that. There's loads of white out still on that bit. Really irritating. So I bought these. These aren't much better, but if you know of anything that is good, can you please let me know? Because I would love to know. But at the minute, this is sufficing. Um, I don't really matter if I sort of miss all of it. Oh, and there's the pipes making a fun noise. I don't actually white out the date unless the covers are quite thin. It's just these ones are obviously quite thick black, so I wanted these to... Okay, apparently this is actually really good on my own conjure. I've been using this on like other notebooks and it's not worked quite as well. Oh. Date covers are like 
the bane of my life. I can never get them on properly. But um, yeah, this is just a leftover kit that I had from our Disney holiday back in May, which was really, really good. Although it doesn't actually feel like we've gone, like my dad and I were saying, we went in uh, 2017 and that one, we feel like we went on that one. We remember being there and it feels like it was that, that was the last time that we went, even though we literally went like three months ago. And already, I mean, we came back, I went back to work quite quickly afterwards. I think it was back like, pretty much the next day after we landed. Um, and it just, it doesn't feel like we've gone yet, which is quite sad. Right, almost done with this. I'm going to do one more. Okay, that's all of them done. Right, back to the full spread. This is where we currently are. I need to write in my work schedules and the bills due and my checklist items. Uh, what else do I have to put on here? Where's that one? There we go. We've got. See, I've used like quite a lot of these already. I used a full box. I used these little flag stickers. I just used quite a bit of the kit when we was on holiday, but we can work with that. Right here is my meal planning section. I always go to work. I go to work. I go food shopping straight after work, so I need. I'm going to put putting you down because we'll lose you. So I might actually just put a quarter box down. Quarter box, half box. So I'm working until 12 that day. The time I've done my food shopping and come home. I mean, it doesn't really warrant a quarter box. So what I could do... I've got this scalloped one here and that will just actually get rid of this sheet of paper then so we can get rid of you. And I'll put that underneath. I'll put a little icon over that in a minute. That's in there, right. Okay, so going back to Monday. Um, as I'm back in work on the Tuesday, which is an 11 till 5 shift, which is very, very weird. But that's what it says, so that's obviously what I'm down to do. Uh, so I can have a little... I say we can have a little checklist, we're just going to have a normal checklist um, under here, this to-do sticker. And we've got a load of these checklists here. I feel like I need a bit more of this light blue because I haven't got really any light blue on this page. Obviously, apart from what's already come from the kit, but everything I've added in hasn't really got that on it. Um, and then that'll probably just be when I'm playing The Sims. Um, so this is blocked off for work. And then when I come home again in the evening, I'll have another to-do list because I live for a to-do list. Okay, the camera cut up. I think it cut up just as I put that one down. So we <laughs> think, don't think we missed anything. Um, okay, so we put that one down. We've done this one now. I'm going to use a darker blue one. Pushing that boat right out. Um, I completely lost where I was going with this. Um, yep, rain's gone. It was like literally just like five minutes of me just trying to get rid of some files off my memory card. That's apparently what it was. It wasn't the battery. Um, I've also noticed I've got some like these little icons uh, here on this page, which I'm going to try and like scatter if I can. If not, then I don't. So. Uh, Wednesday. I am off on Wednesday, so I don't really have any plans as such. So for the time being, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it blank for now because I don't really know what I'm doing. I probably will put a checklist on there at some point. Should I just put a checklist on there now? Do you not know stick to true form. We'll just put another one of these across the bottom, and then the rest of the day can be filled in as and when. Don't really have like a lot to do but um the next one here's the pink so the pink's what it's gonna be um yeah it is something I always write down like as much as I can so to me each checklist is like an hour or an hour and a half um so like something like shower that's including actually showering having my hair washed drying my hair getting into pajamas probably that's like one checklist so it sort of blocks off the bit of time that sort of allocated for it. Uh, Wednesday I need to film 
the following weeks uh, weekly so what have you got here got these um, like half boxes right um, what should we use we'll put this light blue one and put that down here actually that one oh that did not go on straight there we go and that is going to be the plan for next week and there's actually this uh, plan for next week sticker in this kit I'm going to actually just put that above it because um, this way I know what that little box down there is for and that's also for me to edit it as well it doesn't take me a great deal of time to film these it's probably like 40 minutes to film it and it takes me about an hour or so to edit and I can even like just put edit down here just for some other time and Wednesday's actually going to be laundry day so that I've just completely lied I was like I'm going to leave Wednesday blank we all, we all know that was a lie now don't we or should I put this on a quarter box, half box here? Should make it look fancy. I don't know, I'm having questions. I like this one, this is like some sort of firework print. Pop this one at the top. I um, don't know what day I'll see Jodie next week. I tend to see her um, once a week if um, this work permits it and if she's free and go see her little man okay so there's Wednesday which I just lied about being completely blank um Thursday I've left blank I also chucked this um dolphin sticker up here I said dolphins the um football sticker while I was there and I'm working on Thursday 4 till 10 in the evening so I've just blocked that off down here even though it's not like to me each of these boxes is like a six hour time period but I don't always use it in like like obviously stuff that's happening down here I can do in the morning as well but yeah I don't it's just if I ever try to do it in that sort of order which I did uh, for the week we're currently on it did not it's not working for me so we're just gonna leave that um we have a weekend banner here as well I didn't notice that so I'll pop you on if I take you I have the worst luck with weekend banners if you've been watching some of my videos since like um January I'm not great with them oh this is a real flimsy one okay oh damn okay we're just gonna gently put you here you're not quite straight but do you know what nothing wrong with not being completely straight right um yeah thursday what is happening on thursday other than work again not a great deal do you need to put the bins out on friday what bin is it going to be on friday i have these like little stickers from holyopia that i've been using so it's the black bin that this friday which means it's green recycling this week and put trash collection just above on this bit up here for the Friday and so I remember it's the green bin I'll just take this green one for my Erin Condren pens and I'm actually just going to colour the lid in a little bit just so I remember it's the green bin voila okay so we have that I don't get paid that week haven't got any concrete plans with anyone oh lord okay so I'm gonna do another checklist on both of these and up here then that sort of gives me a lot to work with so we're gonna go in with a bunch of to-do labels and I will be trying to add some extra, um, like extra content as well. Um, I should put you up here. Um, so, oh man, this isn't going on here. There we go. Um, I have some like ideas that I would uh, upload on like Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Um, so like Monday would be a check-in of all the different planners I've got. Wednesdays is weeklies um, and then Saturday would be something random like either like a monthly setup or a random thing like a vlog or a haul review planners um, that I'm enjoying like essentials um, favourites or just like random videos that I've got and I thought hey I'm going to put them online um, that's sort of like the idea I'm going with whether I'll actually implement it is a whole other question um, so let's put these on but yeah I'm trying to Trying to get back into doing planning a little bit more, like and actually showing you guys because I really do actually enjoy sharing this. 
Um, it's just when you're ill or you're just feeling a bit down, the last thing you want to do is sit here and try and be cheery and talk for ages about who knows what. Um, but I'll go and try. So I've got them two there and have a pink one down here. Okie dokie, let's have a full zoom out and we'll uh, have a proper look at what we've got. Okay, so that is pretty much how my week is currently looking. Haven't wrote anything down yet, but I'll uh, pop in with that in just a second. Although I do need to add in like a film edit and upload sticker. If you hear me rifling at the minute, I'm just flipping through my uh, the stash I've got to... See, I know I've got a film editor sticker because my sister gave them to me. There they are. Okay, so this is a film edit and upload sticker from my sister's Eye in the Craft store. So I will put a little film icon there. And because this bottom section of the checklist is like a little bit bigger than the rest of it I'm gonna put edit down there and I'll put like plan with me next to it or something also just remembered I need to actually pack my lunch to take with me to work on the Sunday so I've got these are uh, the coffee monsters co stickers I say pack lunch you've got a little emoji there and the actual pack lunch script so I'm going to use uh, one of these here which one should I use hmm I don't know which one I want to use I feel like I need a little bit more pink on this page so I will use this little pink one here that can go just underneath technically this should have gone at the top but I've only just remembered I've even got these stickers because I actually only received them yesterday in the mail so that is not on straight, oh lord. Once I've done this I need to eat something because my stomach feels like it's about to start rumbling at any given second. Um, I think just for this week I'm just going to put this script sticker on it. Oh, and uh, she's sent these all the way from Canada and I only ordered them say, less than a week ago and they're here already so thank you for sending them out so so quickly, I really do appreciate that. Okay, I'm pretty sure that is the end of my erring condom plan and I've still got to do my mail paper and my checklist so if you're not interested in the other ones you'll probably want to turn this off now but if not I can very quickly do this next set real quick. Um, so yeah, that is my erring condom. I just need to actually put uh, everything in pen on here and then we can move on to the next bit. I actually need to see uh, which team the Dolphins are playing against because I haven't actually looked. I'm actually just assuming it's on the it's on Friday or Saturday, but I can move it if it's in the wrong place. No, that one is on Friday. Awesome. And they're against the Jaguars. Oh god, so we have the Buccaneers the week before and then we have the Jaguars. That's like our two main Florida rival teams. That's just freaking swell okay okay so that is my Erin Condren layout so there that is for you and now we get to move on to the other two items of the plan with me so now we've just got these two to do I can do my uh, checklist one pretty quickly so that's what we're gonna do first just gonna flip to where we are um it's literally the same thing every single week I just sort of use a different color on the top uh, what colours do I want this to be? I'll have blue and pink because it sort of goes in with my uh, Disney theme. Uh, we'll do this one in blue. So I always do the week commencing bit in the medium size of the pen. See now normally I just write the uh, the next load of stuff in this is my black pen but I thought as y'all are watching this I might actually do it in the thin side of this blue pen just to keep it here. Um, it's nothing major that I track, it's just a few things that I like to you know, be aware of. Apparently I can't talk and write at the same time. Um, so like my medication, um, I have one that I have to have first thing in the morning, um, one at lunchtime, then I have a different one I have to have um, in the evening before I go to bed. 
making sure I have a minimum of one piece of fruit. I normally have like maybe two a day, but I'm, I'm not great with fruit. We're just, I used to be so, so good with it, but I'm just, I've got incredibly lazy with it, so I need to change that. Uh, no spend. I know I already track this um, actually on the page in my sidebar, but just thought I'd add that in here. Uh, no takeout. So I can go here. Bed by 10.30 is... I'm trying to get into better sleeping pattern, it's not really working. Um, tidy room is just throwing out rubbish, picking stuff off the floor, um, clearing my bed off, sorting things out just as out of the way. And I learn Spanish on Duolingo, so I have it set as 20 XP per day. I was doing 50, but I um, it's just, well, since I had my week off, I've been like really, really bad with it. And then I've now added in another section which is for my mail paper, so I have to add that in. I don't actually know if I'm pronouncing that even slightly right, but... Um, wash hair, because I want to see how often I'm having to wash it, because I wear a hat to work, so... That does a... It takes a freaking long time to keep doing my hair over and over again and this is a buffer update just to make sure I'm actually adding stuff to my buffer queue and that is pretty much that checklist done so it looks a bit colourful compared to this one this is just I did it in biro I was being lazy so that is my checklist done and there we go on to the mal paper planner so I'll flip through like there's a whole bit before all of this like you can like it tells you how to I did a whole blog post on this if you're interested um it's like a what your book is I said what the book or the notebook's about um, about goal setting and stuff and you've got like a long term a mid term and a short term goals page which I'm not really going to use because I honestly don't know what the hell to put on there so um, then we've got the week the weekly the monthly nothing on here has changed my hours are pretty much the same although I do have the week of the 19th to put on here now because for some reason I ain't put them on even though I like I know them already they're off Thursday 4 to 10 p.m. because I forget p.m. otherwise 12 to 5 30 and my uh, 8 until 5 shifts have now changed on Sundays which completely baffles me um uh, Monday and Tuesday. Monday's actually bank holiday and that's rare I've got that off so we will take that as a win. And Wednesday off Thursday on the Friday which is also my granddad's birthday and payday I'm working again and on Saturday also working and I'll be in on the Sunday but that's gonna I block that off but that's gonna be on September spread. Um, I've also wrote down here start Christmas shopping that hasn't even like started. Okay, over to the weekly. This is literally very, very quick. I just have to write in the week that this is commencing, which is the 19th. I have no idea about my weekly tasks yet, so I haven't got to fill that in. So that is just very simple. I had to just quickly fill that in. And my daily tasks, again, I'm still on like this week, so I haven't, there's no point me filling out anything else yet. So that's that on. Okay, well that is it all done. Just put this out again so I had something in front of me while I'm talking to you. Um, that's it. I hope that you enjoyed it and you like this little extra bit with the uh, the goal setter and the checklist just as an added extra. Um, if you did, please like and subscribe to the video and I'd very much appreciate it if you'd come back and check out more videos. If you want to see anything else, I have actually got some other videos similar to this on my channel as well as my Florida holiday vlogs if you're interested in watching what we got up to with in Florida. Um, but yeah, that's it, and I'll see you guys again. Thank you very much for watching. Very, very much appreciate it, so thank you. Uh, bye.